I'm continuing now with the Wolfenstein inspired artwork. In the last video, I did a document cabinet. And in this video, I'm going to model this lamp. This is a reference image that's available through the link in the description. If for any reason the link is broken, you can always come to the Zero Bio Discord and search the references channel. I've brought the reference in and I've scaled it. I think I went S4 and I've come over here and I've clicked on front here so that it's clear through that way. And I've also changed the opacity a little bit. All right, I'm going to start modeling this now. You could certainly use a cylinder, but there is a lot of detail here. And I like to do it this way. I'm going to bring in the plane, go into edit mode, and merge at center. So I merge the vertices. I'm going to slide this vertex down here. All right, and now I'm just going to start extruding. I'm going to press E and G, or just E and pull. Now I'm not going to do this exactly the same. We're going to have a little bit of detail that's different. You see, I just notched in there to create some interesting patterns. So I like to do it this way. It will end up looking different than the reference, but we'll get some interesting detail. So I'm coming in here, it's a little bit fuzzy, but I'm gonna come up, I'm gonna come around, and I'm just gonna add some points like that. Now, it is, it's not gonna be super low poly or anything like that because of what I'm doing, and I'm not paying particular attention to the diagram, I'm just kind of laying down some points and roughly getting the outline and hopefully to get a pleasing shape in the end. All right, I'm gonna come up and I'll just come around. I could probably have done that with just one, one edge there. Just come around here like this, do this and come up. So just constantly pressing E and maybe I'll notch in here and then out. So we'll get a little indent. I'll come up to here. And here, I'll be putting a subdivision surface on this so that it'll smooth it all out. And I'll just come into there. And then I'm gonna come up and just do bigger, bigger lengths in this now, or longer lengths to get to create that sort of sloping area here. And E to extrude and just pull with my mouse, laying down a number of points and not paying particular attention to, you know, spacing them out or anything or worrying about having a lot of points. Coming around here, I'll come up maybe to here and we'll get a bit of a, a gentle slope on this coming up like that. And then I'll come out and around. I'll come in a bit, come up straight, let's say and then out and around again, doing the just the side profile, and then we're going to sweep this around to make this cylindrical shape. Something like that. Okay, I can do that. I'm getting close to the top. Just like that coming to here. This I might do a little bit of work on. You can always go back and edit it. All right, there's another point there, so I'll just keep it going. To here and around. And this big circle, I think I'll do that separately. So I think I'll come up to about here and I'll start coming in. I'm not gonna go quite to the middle line. All right, so. This is the profile that I've got. All right, I'm gonna come over to the modifiers and I'm gonna choose the screw modifier. And you can see that it goes all around. Now, the polys may be flipped. You could do it by looking at this. So I'll do that actually. Down here, normals, I'm gonna choose flip. And that is going to be that. I will go ahead, uh, you can do so, you can change some steps here. But I'm gonna leave it like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply that and go control one for one subdivision and we will get this. Now I'll come back in here and I'll have a look at it and I may add a few edge loops, all right, to accentuate some of this. Drag one in here, let's have a look at that, all right. And then just look at this stuff. 
I don't want to do too much work on on this and add too much more just where it just where it really needs it so maybe I'll drag one up here and maybe one up here let's look at that looks fine maybe maybe in here I'll drag one down there just to make that a bit stronger and I'll do the same here and that's pretty good one more maybe in here okay so that's that's fine you'll notice that I've chosen this matte cap sometimes when I'm modeling against something that's gray I'll choose a different color so it's easier to see against the background all right so we want a little circle on there so I'm going to come in here and I think I'm just going to put one more there. In fact, I'm going to bring my 3D cursor right there. And I'm going to bring in a UV sphere. And I'm going to change this to 16. And I'll put that on top there. Uh, now, where am I? Okay, I'm a little... I'm going to move the diagram over just a little bit. I might take this and scale it a little bit more like that. And I'll take this, I'll make it a little bigger. And I can shade smooth that. That's fine. I'm going to probably join those together. Um, let's see, do I want to do something about that shape down at the bottom? I could come in here and I'll get rid of this vertex. Maybe I'll go Control Plus, X vertices so leave it like that and pull it down and do that i'm going to take this and i'm going to join it and that will get the uh, the subdivision as well so this is what i have got so the next thing to do is this this bar here now you can see in the side view that it's already angled a bit so the size of it may differ a little bit but i've got my 3d cursor right there that's fine and this is very simple to do i'm going to use a plane and bring it up there and uh let's take these actually and merge at center and these and we'll merge them at center and then we'll just get it just like that going right pretty much through the middle okay i'm going to scale this so we get to about here and i'm going to extrude it up like that and i'm going to x edges to get rid of that edge so i just have those there i might scale that in the x a little bit more so I have that sort of bar-like thing going through. I'll take these two points and we're going to round those. Shift, Control, B, hold, Shift, and pull. There's two. Three is probably enough. Sometimes I use five. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to convert that to a curve. And in the curve dialog box, under geometry and bevel depth, hold, Shift, and pull to the right and get a thickness for this bar that you think looks reasonable. And I could have that. Okay, so to attach, we need another UV sphere right there. So I think I'll take this and select that point. I'll convert that to a mesh in a bit. And let's bring in another UV sphere. All right, same values, scale it down. But let's rotate Y90, scale it, go into wireframe. Get the approximate size that you're going to want. And what we'll do is we'll take that point there. Let's get this point from the front again. And I'll go to wireframe. And I'm going to control plus. And let's get rid of those vertices and see if we have what we need. Um, let's see if I scale that a bit bigger. I think I may get rid of one more row of vertices and take this. That's fine like that. E to extrude, pull it out. It's a little off the diagram, that's okay. E and S, we'll scale it out to about there. And E, and come down to about there. So let's have a look at that. So this is what we get. And let's bevel this edge here. Control B, pull. I just need three. Or we're going to also bevel here with three. And I'll bevel here with three. And I can shade smooth. And that goes right into the middle of it. So that's fine. Okay, so what we can do is we can come back here and select that. That's pretty central. Bring my 3D cursor there. 
So we can set the origin to the 3D cursor and we can mirror that across to the other side. So I'll have it like that. All right, the next thing to do is to create that piece. And I will use, I'm just gonna use a circle to do this. And I'll use, see if I use 18 vertices. And now, you know what, I think I'll use 22. So I'm gonna take this up, rotate X 90 like that. And I'm gonna rotate Z 90 like that and get the approximate size, bring that down to here. All right, so as you can see uh, in wireframe, we're gonna need to get rid of, uh, let's see which ones. We'll get rid of all of those. I think we'll get rid of those vertices there. And I'm gonna take these and I'm gonna extrude them down just a little bit. I want a bit of, of a more extended flat section. In fact, they may have to come down a bit more because as I'm looking at this, I'm realizing this is this side view here is what I really need. So I'm actually going to drag it over there, scale it a bit, and take these points that I extruded and pull them down. So I'll get this. So I'll build it on here. So I'm going to take this E to extrude, slide it out to there, and I'm going to go F to make a face, select these edges, F to make a face. So I'll have this, I'm gonna flip it. And I can go ahead now and I can bring this back here and make sure that it fits. So I'm gonna just actually push it onto this side. Make sure it makes contact. And then I'm going to grab this edge and I'm just gonna pull it on until it makes contact on that side. Okay, so far so good, and I will use E and Alt. Actually, first of all, I'm going to bevel. So Shift Alt and click that edge and that edge. I'm in edge selection to do that. Control B, pull. I'm going to give it a nice rounding like that, and then select it all. E and Alt S and pull to give it some thickness like that. Okay, the polys are flipped, so I'll flip those back, and then I just need to bevel uh, this stuff here with three like that shade smooth so there's that piece and then it's just a question of the light what kind of light whether you want cylinders or whatever I am thinking of just for the moment using a plane possibly just a flat plane and adding a subdivision a um, an emission later on so I'm not sure so just for now I'll bring my 3d cursor there and I'm going to bring in a plane and let's see have it down somewhere around there maybe let's scale this in the x start bringing it out and maybe what we'll do is we'll take this and this and we'll just focus on that and control seven look from the bottom take that and let's scale that in the y just have it under and let's have a look at this Okay, so that's flipped, so I'll come in and flip it. Just imagine, you know, since I'm doing this with Wolfenstein, it's, it's sort of old fashioned, but also futuristic, if that makes sense. So I'm just gonna leave that like that. And uh, we can then, you know, angle this or whatever. So I do have a bevel on that edge, right? Okay, so let's take this now, this curve, and put a resolution of three on it and convert it to a mesh. I might go control one. Okay. There we go, we got it. So I got subdivision on it, okay. And I got that, that's just got a mirror I will go ahead and apply that mirror. Um, one thing is actually these are up too high on this, I think. I'll be rotating it. So I think I'm going to take this now actually and pull it so that the light is, that, that these handle parts, attachments are more in the middle of the light part. So let's do that. And then let's take. Um, let's let's rotate this light with respect to those handles so let's uh shift s cursor to selected 
I mean, you could texture this first and then do that, but I think I'm just going to do this. Uh, so the so the 3D cursor is in the middle of that. I'm going to uh, set the pivot to that and then select both of these. I'm going to look from the side and I'm just going to rotate this like that. And then I'm going to take this whole thing, including the bar, and I'm going to rotate with respect to this. So I'm going to control L on that. Shift S, cursor to select it. So my 3D cursor is now there. I'll take this and this and this and the bar. Look from the side and, and uh, rotate like that. And the more I think about it, <laughs> maybe I do. I'm going to come back to here. I think I'm going to want to rotate this a little bit more like something like this I'm just, I'm just gonna do it that way and see how I feel so not all parts are joined that's that's fine um, that is all I need that for I'm gonna save this but I'm gonna bring this into the other file with the uh, document cabinet so I'm gonna select it and control C and I'm gonna control V to paste it Right away, I'm going to create a new collection. I'm going to call this lamp. So I've got that. And I am going to, uh, let's hide that for the moment. I'm going to select everything else. And I'm going to call it cabinet. All right, I don't need that. Okay, so we've got the lamp in the cabinet. Let's take the lamp. And uh, it's the lamp itself. I'm going to scale it down. Oh, I missed the uh, this piece. And press GZ, GZ, GZ. Position it. Maybe I'll make it a little bit smaller. There it is in the scene. And I'll leave it with those, that color uh, in the viewport shading, uh, just so that they can distinguish it for the moment from, from this versus, let's see, if I take this color here, maybe I'll put it all together. looking so far all right now in terms of statistics it's not going to be low or anything we're at 60 68 69,000 uh, we could look at the lamp and decide if we want to lower anything but that's that's fine with me for the time being all right so now we have a desk lamp you could use that for a library scene or a legal scene or uh, just you know create a desk and have that uh, you could do put cylinders in here if you wanted instead of this style or you could do a Wolfenstein kind of thing which is what I'm doing all right so I'm going to leave it at that I have more objects to put on here and I'll be creating a few more pieces of furniture uh, in order to make this a little scene but like I say I'm making this so that you could do individual items if you didn't want to do a Wolfenstein type scene and you just wanted to say how to, how to make a legal lamp or how to make a document cabinet or any of the other things I'm about to make. All right. So thanks very much for watching. Take care of yourselves and see you again soon.